black volcanic glass. I got kicked out of the States. I'm gonna look at this dude. Like, what are these scar girl admits? Yay! Oh my, it's you, it's really you. The, you're the person who's about to get a new high score in Fruit Ninja today, aren't you? I knew I recognized you. All right, morning, today's Halloween, so I know you're watching this a few days later. I was planning on catching up the vlogs, like I'm too far ahead. I was planning on catching up over the weekend, but then I filmed, obviously for the, um, the laundry room thing. That's what we did, wasn't it? All right, we've been using the new automation. Let's see what we picked up. It is here. I, I think this is gonna change my content. I think this is a huge change, all right? So I don't know if you've seen me working at my whiteboard planning out a video on TikTok, but we start off with this setup one, which is something that instigates the whole video so a video normally goes the hook, which is to catch the viewer, and then it goes into this setup once, which is like the, like how did this whole idea come about? And then you get into this point of no return. Why are we driving like a pleb? And the point of the no return, the point of no return is really the bit that tells the viewer we're doing this. Like we are getting going, let's get our teeth sunk in. Now, how do I, I think the best way I can say that is, I don't, I really don't watch Mr. Beast's videos, but there's no denying that they obviously perform very well. So in the very, like, the title and the thumbnail match the first like five seconds of the video. And by that, I mean, a crazy piece of action happens in those first five seconds that gets the viewer either thinking or subconsciously realizing, all right, this video is good. Like I've clicked on something and I'm getting what I've clicked on. So on a TikTok, you want the viewer to think, okay, sweet. The hook sounds amazing and I'm getting exactly that. So I thought, why are you driving like a flipping moron? 25 and a 40. You dickhead. Missed the light. I don't have road rage. <laughs> so I was thinking, what if I move the point of no return before the want? Which means I'm getting straight into the video and then explaining how this has all come about. So it's like I'm taking the first step and as I'm doing those, that first one or two steps, I'm explaining why this came about. Now the way I'm thinking about this is for this laundry room video, redoing it, we'll have the hook and then the setup want is gonna be that I'm playing this game of decorating a home and it makes me realize that actually I still have this laundry room to go and do. So then I start doing the laundry room. But what if I flip flop those around? I start doing the laundry room because I was playing this game. That way, the viewer gets almost an instant gratification of, I can see this guy is doing what I'm expecting him to do in this hook. And you don't go off on this tangent. I, I, I li this is, I don't know, except for, my wife needs like half an hour to wake up in the morning. And I'm, because I'm just like way better, I had this idea, like, alarm went off. I walk out the bedroom, down to the bathroom on the main floor. That sounds like I live in a mansion. It's not. It's <laughs> I walk to a different bathroom. <laughs> and then I have this idea. So I've been up for, like, two minutes. And that isn't... I don't, <laughs> I don't say that for anyone to think, oh, my gosh, this guy's, like, he's so good. He's on it immediately. I mean that more of just explaining that's how my mind works. There's no, there's no like downtime. Just go, 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 which I love. Hmm. Yeah, I love, I do love it. it it's it's kind of cool to think about the fact that that's how my mind works, but then other people's don't work the same. Isn't it cool that we're all like kind of wired slightly differently? 
I think that's, I, I might have mentioned this before, I think that's the crazy thing about relationships. You're just two people from completely different parts of life and you like certain things about each other and now you have to try and figure out what things work together, what doesn't work together, what can you, what can you live with not being the way you want. What things do you want the other person to change because it just means a lot to you? It's all about, I don't know if, I, if I'd say being in a relationship is all about compromise. Maybe it actually is because you shouldn't have everything your way. Your partner shouldn't have everything their way. You know, unless, unless one of you is okay with that, but then I'd say, I'd say you probably don't have much of a backbone if that's the case. Like, you should be able to live life in a way that you'd like to, that merges with the way your partner wants to live their life. And it can be as small as just some silly things, like let's say um, keeping the house clean. I really like having a clean house. And like I'll you know do my part when I'm done with work and at weekends I'll you know make sure the house is clean too. But my wife, however, she just isn't bothered with having the house looking clean, like things put away. But we've both like compromised on that. So f for her, she will she she'll keep it. Not, I'm not saying keep it dirty, but she may not clean up throughout the day, like while Rugi makes all the mess. But right before I finish work, she'll try and clean up as much as possible. And then for me, I, this sounds like a weird way of saying this, I'm accepting of the fact that it's, it doesn't have to be clean between the hours that I'm working. And I accept the fact that uh, it won't be spotless. Right, so you work together, you compromise. I think, I don't, I mean, I'm not sure how far I'm going to go with that rant, but communication in a relationship, like people say, like, communication is key. Communication is quite literally the key to having a good time. And your partnership, your relationship should be you enjoying yourself, both of you enjoying yourself and enjoying living together. If it's not that, figure out why not. If you want to, try and work on it. If if it's not going the way you want it to, then I think if the other person isn't willing to make changes, then it's probably time to cut it off. Just had one of my wife's friends actually just called off their engagement because the guy wasn't um, putting in an effort to make the changes that they needed to to move forward. And like you can easily say, are oh, they? You know, they, they tried this time, but then they kind of forgot about it. And so I mention it again and they try again. And then they keep forgetting about it. That isn't the way I see it. I'm kind of going off on a rant now. The way I see it, that person doesn't respect your wants or desires enough to make changes to make you feel more comfortable. Whether, you know, that's because they're stubborn and really want to, or not stubborn, that's because they want to do things their way and they're just, they're not willing to give that up could also be that they just don't care enough, not willing to change, even though it doesn't have that much of an impact on them. All right, uh, we're gonna edit, we're gonna script and then edit the laundry room video today and then get it posted. Um, I like the plan, let's get, let's, let's get stuck into it. No, first, I mean, I could do that, but first, uh, wife and I are gonna decorate the laundry room just in a terrible manner. And then maybe I could do a follow-up video of actually making it look really nice. Yes, yes, yes sir. Okay, all right, see you in a bit. <laughs> hello, hello, all right, we filmed the clip of like putting everything in, decorating, and then like the reveal, which I thought was kind of funny actually. Um, <laughs> so now I'm gonna script this out. And I only have about two hours before the wife has to leave. And then I'll be looking after Rugi, so I, I'm gonna try and get this done. I don't know if I will. All right, so 
the floor is that I want to work. Oh, let me share my screen. Sorry. Want to work on my own. Then the strength is working together is more fun. Right. The hook, I think we go with something. This is how a man child does a DIY home improvement. Yes, this is how a man child does a DIY home improvement. Something along those lines. So remember I talked about a few minutes ago, switching around the point of no return with the setup want. So we start off with me dismantling the room. This is how a man child does a DIY home improvement. I started with zero planning and took down the old fixtures. I started with zero planning and took down the old fixtures. When I realized I didn't have any of the right tools for the job. Job, so I picked out the most colorful tools I could find. Right. Okay. And then we move into the setup want. You see, six months ago, I told my wife I'd redo the laundry room. You see, six months ago, I told my wife I'd redo the laundry. I'd redo the laundry room. Uh, are there any specifications of exactly what I need to say about this product that I'll be doing? Let's have a look. So. What I mean by that is what requirements do the brand have that need to be mentioned in the video? Hashtags, make sure you mention the game name decor match. Okay. You see six months ago, I told my wife I'd redo the laundry room and playing home decor. You see six months ago, I told my wife I'd redo the laundry room. And playing home decor. You see, six months ago, I told my wife I'd redo the laundry room. I'm playing home decor. I'm playing home decor on my own. I got the boost I needed to start. I got the boost I needed to start. Cool, okay. That's our setup want. That's good, okay. And then, I don't need playing home decor on my own. And playing home decor, I got the boost I needed to start. So I still need to film that shot, actually. The catch here, which I've got written as the stakes for some reason. Got the boost I needed to start. But I quickly realized but wanting to do this on my own, I quickly realized how much work there was. Was to be done. Okay. I already bought the power tools, didn't I? 
I started with zero planning and took down the old fixtures when I realized I didn't have any of the right tools for the job, so I picked out the most colorful tools I could find. Yeah, I don't need that. It's kind of a, it's like a long intro, but I like that we're so quickly into the actual video. You can see that I'm taking stuff down. Um, moving washer and dryer. Maybe I don't need the buying towel power tools bit. Quickly realized how much work there was to be done. But wanting to do this on my own, I quickly realized how much work there was to be done. Wanting to do this on my own, I quickly realized how much work there was to be done. With the laundry room. Empty. I. I started. I moved straight into the painting. I moved straight into the painting and made sure to... I moved straight into the painting and made sure to follow all the painting hacks I'd seen. So let's do a shot of painting and then taping wall and using the scraper. Like the stupid thing about the scraper bit is where I put, it's, I don't know how else to call it, a scraper. <laughs> I put that in the corner of the wall and then use the paintbrush and use that as a guide to go along the edge. But actually there's no point in doing that because I'd already taped the edges. I moved straight into the painting and made sure to follow all the painting hacks I'd seen. But why did no one tell me washing a paint roller is a never ending job? But why did no one tell me I'd be outside for an I was thinking along the lines of explaining how I'm outside on my own, but I think that's obvious from the clip because I'm the only one in it. But why did no one tell me washing a paint roller takes flipping ages? Uh, washing paint roller. And then we, because this is quite long, I don't think we need, <clears throat> maybe I will talk about cutting the wood. Um, the next day, I put my colorful power tools to use. The next day I put my colorful power tools to use and cut out my shelves. It's not very, the next day I put, but that does lead on to the next bit. The next day I put my colorful power tools to use and cut out my shelves with, I was gonna say with precision, and then I'm looking at, thinking about the fifth grade reading level, and precision's probably not a word that's up in there. The next day I put my colorful power tools to use, and prepared the shelves. The 
next day I put my colourful power tools to use and prepared the shelves. The next day I put my colourful power tools to use, prepared the shelves and emptied my shrock and emptied my the sawdust from my shrock. Cool. The next day I put my colourful power tools to use, prepared the shelves and emptied the sawdust from my shrock before putting the shelves in place. Then the crisis. It was all going so smoothly until it was all going so smoothly until I needed help. Um, I thought about I could either keep struggling or pay someone else. My only options, it was all going so smoothly until I needed help. I want to show that I'm like thinking through these options because that's where I'm sat down playing. I either keep struggling or pay someone else. But either way, let's uh, put this at the beginning. I was really hoping to surprise my wife so my only options were to keep struggling or pay someone else and then I ask Shay to help ask Shay for help which is the banana and then That's right. As we decorated, as we decorated, I realized doing something together is more fun than doing it alone. As we decorated, as we decorated, pre preparing for the final reveal, I realized doing something together is more fun than doing it alone. And then we have the final clip. Dude, I like that. Let me read it through again. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this is how a man-child does DIY home improvement. I think I'll look at tweaking that. I started with zero planning and took down the old fixtures when I realized I didn't have any of the right tools for the job, so I picked out the most colorful tools I could find. You see, six months ago, I told my wife I'd redo the laundry room and playing home decor, I got the boost I needed to start. I got the boost I needed 
to start. I got the boost I needed to start. But wanting to do this, but wanting to do this on my own, I quickly realized how much work there was to be done. I don't like how many times I've used realized there. I moved straight into the painting and made sure to follow all the painting hacks I'd seen, but why did no one tell me washing a paint roller takes flipping ages? I'd say for bloody ever, but I don't know if that would be good for a branded thing. The next day I put my power the next day I put the next day I put my colourful power tools to use, prepared the shelves and emptied the sawdust from my shrock before putting the shelves in place. It was all going so smoothly until it wasn't, until I needed help. I was really hoping to surprise my wife, so my only options were to keep struggling or pay someone else. As we decorated, preparing for the final reveal, I realized doing something together is more fun than doing it alone. That's a nice little message, Oliver. Um, I was really hoping to surprise my wife, so my only options As we decorated, preparing... So I think realize at the end there is okay. I started with zero planning and took down the old fixtures. When... Synonym for realized. Give me 10 synonyms for realized. Jinkies. Realized at a fifth grade reading level. Oh yes. I learned. Quickly learned how much work there was to be done. When I quickly understood how much work there was to be done. Okay, cool. I think this is good. That's 20 minutes to write a script. Seems quick, but... Um, for his wife. This is how a man-child does a DIY home improvement for his wife. Is DIY the right... I'm going to look at this dude. Let's search for him. Stop that. Record here. Start and stop here. Um, like, what are these Scar Girl admits? <laughs> um, what am I looking for? Closet DIY. Makeover. Where's this dude? Drew Powell, this is the one. All right, my wife's gonna be gone for a couple hours, so I'm gonna update the baby's closet from looking. Gone for a couple of hours, then you're gonna do the closet. Mate, mine took for bloody ever. Um. See, in this one, he um, shows the ending result, which I don't want to do because that's kind of the, the funny thing about it. This is how a man... Uh... All right, my wife's going to be gone for a couple hours, so I'm going to update the baby's closet from looking like this to looking like this. This is how a man-child does a DIY improvement. This is how a man child does a DIY 
home improvement for his wife. Yeah. Cool, dude. All right, I'm gonna record. I'm gonna record the the the, the voicey bits. Okay. Yes. Bro, I don't know. I don't even. I don't know what happened to today. One minute it was like. 12, just gone 12, then my wife left, uh, had lunch with Rugi, put him down. Then I came down, what did I do? Oh, I re-edited the video. So before all of that, I edited the video that I'd been filming the last few days. And it kind it just like, it died on TikTok within like an hour or so. It hit like, I don't know, 800 views in the first hour or so and I looked at the analytics and the the best you get is seeing the percentage of people who watched it on like let's say for you page or your following and I was as I was watching that I was seeing the following page percentage decrease which means like that's where the majority of your views on TikTok should be coming from and so the reason that was going down is because the following was going up now you might think, oh, that's that's good. No, it's not because it means that that's then no longer being promoted on the For You page, which means it hasn't done well enough to stay on people's feeds. So then the only people who are watching it are the people who are coming to your profile or the people who are seeing it on the actual following page. I tweaked the intro and I showed the uh, a shot of me opening the doors at the beginning of the video and then a shot of what it looks like before. And it seems to be doing, well, I wouldn't say a lot better, but it is doing much better. Like now it's been up for an hour and it's at two and a half thousand views. So we'll see how that does, but it is now, it's 10 to four. I, I, don't, know where, I don't know where all that time went. I, I did spend some time helping out the dude with the socials automation seems to have gotten it. He's taking a break now, but he seems to have gotten it. So hopefully that'll be ready. And then I can have the editor start tomorrow with all the clips that are ready to go. Excuse me. And then we can set up this automation to start running tomorrow. It's fingers crossed, but I'm going to stop now. It wasn't really much for today, I'm afraid, but I'm going to stop now and we're going to get Rugi ready to go trick or treating. Which I always thought is kind of weird that I have no idea if I've mentioned this or not. Shay and I are the adults that will be walking him around. He's not two yet, so he's not eating like sweet chocolate candy. So anything he does get is going straight down my gob because Shay's pregnant and doesn't eat that kind of stuff at the moment. So I know I'm, I'm going to have a good time. Yeah, maybe I'll just be Shrek, but it's, it's only just Shrek feet. Yeah. All right, well, okay, I guess this actually puts us in a good position because the video I've been working on is done. I do wanna try the meta quest. I also need to shave, so I don't know if tomorrow is a good time to start the, um, the shaving series back up, but using What's the black volcanic glass? Dragon glass is what it's called in Game of Thrones. I keep forgetting the name of it. This is what it is. This. I'm just Google it. Black volcanic glass. What's it called? Obsidian. Obsidian. I got that before it showed up on the on the Google. So. Smart man. Uh, the, the legend is that I need a, a deer antler to be able to cut off shards and then use that for shaving. I'm not sure. Maybe that won't be, maybe this won't be the first video. It'll be using a scalpel blade, but we'll see. We'll see how TikTok does with that. Yeah, but it essentially means I'm kind of open tomorrow, which is sweet. 
Cool. And I did have a few topics to discuss that I put down in the, the note down. Uh, okay, so we'll go through those. We'll go through those now. <laughs> the gym in the morning versus working out, versus working, sorry. So my morning looks like wake up at five, take the dogs out, edit the vlog, which takes me normally to about somewhere between six and 6.30, and then I go to the gym, which means I don't get back here until about 7.38, maybe sometimes earlier if I can't be bothered. But that drive to the gym, all that's going on in my mind is, I kind of, I want to be working on this today, or I want to be working on that, or I can't wait to work on this or that. But I've got the gym that I need to be focused for and actually, so that's something that I really think is just getting my mind around. Like how do I change my mindset from thinking I need to be back and working on this to, all right, cool, well now is time to go for the gym. I don't know if this is, I don't know if it's just me or if it's being in this space of still, like I haven't been doing this without a full-time job income coming in long enough yet to be completely comfortable with knowing exactly how much I have coming in each month. Like it's, it's more than we need, but I still, until I think we have a couple of really decent months, I probably will be in that mindset. Next, build something, oh yeah. If you're going to make content, like this is, there are so many content niches you can go into right now, but th that will get tons of views and will make you lots of money. And I'll give you an example. When I was in the photo and video niche, like some of my friends still doing it are making just buttloads of money, okay? But for me, I did not like doing that type of content. Like I. I liked doing it at first, then I realized I didn't really like doing it. And I would say, like, being in my position, which is having a full-time job and having spent so much time learning about social media, I've then put myself in a position where I'm making, con making content of things that I enjoy doing. Like, it's not like I put myself in a position of okay, you have no source of income, so you kind of have to make money and you sacrifice what you enjoy doing to make that money. I wouldn't change my experiences, like all of those experiences have led me to where I am now, but if you were starting out, I would say, find the content that you enjoy making and just make that regardless of views and stay consistent at doing that. Um, Michael Perry having first drink to be, oh yeah, this is it. I saw an interview with Matthew Perry and he says he is, he's in, he is in control of having his first drink, but as an alcoholic, once he has his first drink, his body takes over and he's not able to stop, which got me thinking, why don't we take that same mindset and put it to something useful? Like, Let's say I have a, a task to do or a job to do. Someone's probably going to look at this and be like, oh my gosh, he's so out of touch. Like, fuck you, dude. I'm a, I'm a normal person. I'm just a normal dude. I just make videos. All right, so uh, if we're in control of the first thing we do and we have a task to do, just start the task. That's what you're in control of. You're not in control of whether you, know, you enjoy doing it or not. But if you get started, then you can figure it out. I don't know why I put this in here. I ate half a pack of, half a bar, like a big bar of dairy milk and dime bar last night. That wasn't very good. Then the other thing, oh, this is probably my biggest realization with my parents since I left home. So I'll give you the quick rundown. I got kicked out of the States because my visa was ending. Well, it wasn't actually kicked out, it was your visa ends in a month, and if you don't, then you're considered an illegal person living here. So I was like, okay, well, I kind of have to leave, don't I? There's a longer story behind that. Anyway, I then went back to live with my parents, and you realize how much different it is. Like, we, like, let's say you're my age, 
we change so much as we leave home, but then that then coming back to live at home in your parents' house, you're meant to be living the way your parents lived and they're expecting you to live the way that you lived when you were with them. Which brings me on to, like, it's all, everything that your parents are doing in their life, it's all their first time around as well. So if, if they haven't done something right, just remember that it's their first time around. So they can be taught too. And hopefully you have that kind of relationship where you can, you know, it is a back and forth, not just a parent and child. And then that's it. All right. That was it. I think those were my topics. So by the way, all of those came down while I was working out. It's this, this um, automation is so flipping nice. I'm so glad I paid this dude for it and he made it so quickly. All right. Well, I think we're done. I'm going to go tidy up from yesterday's video. Enjoy Halloween. You already did Halloween, so I hope you enjoyed your Halloween. See you soon.